Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope you like it. Maybe subscribe already. Maybe you have a good feeling about it and you're just gonna smash that subscribe button at the beginning of the video. I am a professional artist and usually I am painting. I'm a full-time painter actually, but today we're not gonna be painting. We're gonna be doing something different. If you watched my 2022 recap video, you may have noticed that I was doing a little bit of jewelry making over the holidays. I really enjoyed making jewelry as kind of a little creative project on the side. And I think that as an artist, it is important to do this from time to time. For me personally, I think that diving into different genres and mediums all in the creative realm really boosts my creativity altogether. It gives me new ideas and just kind of rejuvenates me a bit. Especially when I'm having artist block in painting and I just feel like, oh, I just don't wanna get behind the canvas. I don't wanna. I think that doing these other creative projects really kind of shakes the rust off and gets me back in like the creative zone. So I have decided to continue my jewelry making endeavor and I'm kind of using this YouTube channel as like an excuse to pursue all of the other kind of creative projects that I otherwise would be pushing to the side because I feel like oh, I'm a painter I have to I have to paint and stuff but you know what I don't want to paint all the time. I want to do different things. I want to experiment and that's what we're gonna be doing today. <laughs> I just went out and bought way too many jewelry making supplies. I've definitely overcommitted. Um, <laughs> I'm hoping that I'm good at this so that maybe I'll be able to like sell some of the the pieces that I make and at least make back the money that I just spent on all of the materials. Here's to hoping that it works out. <laughs> okay, so maybe I'll show you all the supplies that I have and we'll make some jewelry together. are all of the beads that I just bought off of Facebook Marketplace for $30. I would say I got myself a pretty good deal. Over here is my new purchases. So this is like a bunch of stuff I just got at Michael's. Beads, beads, beads galore. Wow, I really have a lot of beads here. I think how I'm gonna get started is just to find some inspiration, find some color schemes, find some just, you know, nice beaded jewelry inspo. And I believe I will be making some earrings and some bracelets. Who knows, maybe, maybe I'll make some toe rings. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, I think I'm gonna get started now. I'm a little overwhelmed with the amount of beads that I have, but I think that with all this wide variety, I will hopefully be able to make some pretty cool pieces. That's the hope. So uh, yeah, let's get started.
been about three days since I filmed the intro. Guess what? Jewelry making is um, harder than I thought. <laughs> I've had a lot of ideas that I have been wanting to execute but just don't really know how and I'm still learning like how to use all these little tools and ah. I dropped this pen the other day and it's just been loose on the floor somewhere and I've been worried about stepping on it so just found it that's great so I think I'm gonna take a little break now and um, yeah just like make some muffins take my mind off the whole jewelry and beads thing for a minute and then get right back into it with a yummy snacky snack. I'm trying to be a little more like candid on camera, so if I seem scatterbrained in this video, that's why. It's because I'm working sans the script and I'm just, uh, <laughs> I'm living in the moment. This is me, I don't have a script for life. Life doesn't come with a script. I think that's all I wanted to say. See ya after the muffins. just finished my first earring. <laughs> so, I've been working for like three days and this is what I have to show for it. You know what? Dare I say it? It's pretty cute. There we go. Here. Okay, it's like a little chandelier earring. The color scheme is inspired by this paper from the paper place on Queen Street West. It's just regular wrapping paper, but I thought it was really pretty and it was 50% off, so I was like, <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna use this paper to package the earrings so that the display and the opening experience is gonna be très semanatique. Speaking now we have to finish the other one. I have here all of the beads ready to go. I basically put these tiny seed beads on this silver wire and then had to make these little like fisheye, oh god, ah, fisheye hoops at the end and then like lace them through the wire. <laughs> Can you see what I'm doing? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Hi, it's me again. I just finished the second earring, so I have officially completed my first pair. Now for the reveal. <laughs> I'm just gonna try them on and see how they look. <laughs> they're pretty cute. This is not what I envisioned them to look like. I had kind of a different idea in mind. You know what? I'm happy. I'm happy with that. 
but they took a very long time. I've been working on this particular pair for like, like two days now. So I think that moving on to the next pieces that I will make, I'll do something like a little less intense. Okay, anyway, signing off. Um, <laughs> time to make some more jewelry. Okay, bye. <laughs> had to turn the camera back on because I didn't want to lie to you guys. I am not going to make more jewelry now because I've been neglecting my emails for the past like four days. So in reality, that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna answer my emails and then I'm gonna get back into jewelry making and I'm gonna have a wonderful afternoon of picking my beads and just making some cool jewelry. Okay, now, now I'm gonna go, okay, bye. <laughs>
I bought it thinking, oh man, this isn't gonna work. But then it did, so I'm very pleasantly surprised with that. The other paper, this Chiogami paper, however, is not from the dollar store. It's from the paper place, and they sell like all the stationary stuff, and this Chiogami paper, I'm gonna just read you what it is. Japanese paper that is meticulously produced by hand and the individual layers of color are silk screened on one by one to a base paper made of kozu and sulfite. I don't know what kozu and sulfite is, but it sounds fancy. Here's an example of some of the ones that I bought. As you can see, like there's gold detailing in it, which is just so nice. I went into the shop and I just spent forever looking through all of this paper and then the goal or the intent was to use this paper to inspire the pieces that I make which I did do for some of them but then some of them I just totally went off the rails did whatever I want and uh, yeah <laughs> I am enjoying this part of the process because it's very nice to see everything kind of come together as one and I feel professional. Mm, is that an overstatement? Maybe. I feel like I'm proud of the things that I'm making which feels very nice. But yeah, so I'm going to continue packaging. Hopefully it's not going to take me too much longer. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. day. Don't be fooled. I just did my hair and my makeup because it's that time where I show you all the jewelry that I made. I've finished all the packaging. It's now approximately 4 p.m. so it took me around I'm gonna say three and a half hours to finish the rest of the packaging and I like how everything looks. I think that it came together really nicely so what I'm gonna do is just show you the finished pieces and try them on for you and yeah. Okay, so here is the first one. There we go. This one and the next one are very similar. The only difference is that I added one extra bead. So this one, they're actually, um, these are ceramic beads. This little crystal bead, the blue one, is Swarovski crystal. Ooh, that's fancy! And then this is actually a real, like, freshwater pearl. I guess you can buy those from Michaels. I was very surprised. These are the other ones, but they're a little bit shorter because I didn't put the extra crystal bead on them. I'm gonna put one of each on so that you can see both of them in action at the same time. Okay, so here's the one with the crystal bead, and then here's the other one sans the crystal bead. Moving on! That's 
so cute. I just, I love the variety of the beads in this one. Can you see? Is this a good angle? I can't tell, I can't tell. Okay, here. I love these ones. I saw the these glass red beads at Michael's and I just had to have them. I think they're gorgeous. The hoops are a little bit on the chunky side, which I like. Very cute, I like them. But I, I'm gonna take out this one, my second piercing because I think it's too distracting. That red though is so Vibrant. I love it. I'm gonna make some more in the future with these red beads just because I think they're so fabulous Cute these ones I ordered some gold crimp beads which are basically I learned the beads that you oh god I hope it's not gross that I'm like just Shoving these things in my ears like I don't know is that nasty anyway crimp beads are apparently the beads that you put on and then you crimp them with some little pliers and They hold all the other beads in place so that they're not moving around and they didn't have any gold ones at Michael's at the time so I had to order some and they told me they were gonna be here on Sunday, but now I'm not gonna get them till later. So I need some crimp beads for these ones, just so that these little beads don't fall off. Cause as you can see, it's kind of a whoop, you situation. Next. These ones I think were the absolute most time consuming. They were the ones I did very first. That was actually a, probably a bad decision because after I was working on these, I thought, Oh God, what did I get myself into? They're not perfect. They can be a tiny bit wonky, but I kind of like that because then you know it's homemade, you know? Like then you know that somebody put a lot of effort into it. Also, when I was packaging, I tried to match like the logo embossed paper to the jewelry so this is like a silver pair so I embossed it on silver you know probably no one's gonna notice that but attention to detail <laughs> next I thought these ones were cool because they're pretty simple, but still elegant. Still have a little bit of class, you know? Despite what you may think, it took me so long to decide what colors. <laughs> but I'm happy with the pink and the blue situation mixed with the gold. I think that's actually quite nice. I really like these ones because they were also made very spontaneously. I just kind of picked them up and then they ended up matching the packaging so well. And I like this loose chains and these are like the semi-precious stones or semi-precious beads or something. Look at like the way that it matches with that. Wonderful. Wonderful! Speaking of the loose chain situation, I showed you these ones earlier. I think they might be one of my favorites. They're very elegant. Eleganza, extravaganza. Oh goodness me. These are real pearls, which is quite neat. Anyways, these are also pearls. These are kind of neat because what happens is you put it in the front there and then you actually attach the back, voila. I really like these ones. Also, my ears are just getting butchered. So if my ears are very inflamed looking, then please do not mind. It's not because the materials I used are really crappy, it's because I just keep on shoving things into my ears and they don't like it. Next. 
I don't know how I feel about these ones yet. Maybe wouldn't be my number one choice. They are also a little bit more on the elegant side, I guess, but I feel like this gold kind of tag at the end makes them a little edgy. I don't know. I like these ones. They're kind of like funky. It's when you're feeling colorful, when you're feeling fun, and when you have a zest for life, and you just want to get a little crazy. So these ones are very similar to the other ones, except as you can see, they are organized beads. They're not chaotic. It's when you're feeling a little crazy, but you know, you're also in control. By the way, I am gonna put all of these up for sale and I just want to everyone to know right now that I will be washing them. I will be sterilizing. I know that I'm putting them all in my dirty ears right now, but I will <laughs> I will be sterilizing all of them before they go up on the shop, okay? This one, I'm a little disappointed in the packaging. I chose the color scheme for this one, and then I couldn't find some nice paper that matched it well enough, so I ended up going with this one that kinda has like the blue paper, but I just feel like it doesn't really go. But they're still very cute, and they're also quite fun. I like these ones. These could be one of my favorites too. They're also a little bit on the wonky side, but it was extremely hard making these ones. So maybe I, uh, they're one of my favorites just because I know how much effort I put into them. I ended up really liking the packaging of this. I felt like the this Chiyogami paper really went nicely with these earrings. Elegant. Simple and elegant. As you can probably tell, some of the pieces I made are very funky, and then others are very simple. Something for everyone. When you wear dangly earrings, it makes it so nice to like say no to things. No, I won't clean the dishes. <laughs> Which is actually something I do need to do. You guys won't stick around for that part. That's boring. I hope this isn't boring. We're almost done. Not much to say about these ones other than I wanted to keep it simple because just the stones themselves on these earrings are so pretty. Like look at that. I just wanted to showcase the natural beauty of the stones and so not to overcomplicate things. Lost pair. I just love the packaging on here because it just matches so perfectly. That looks professional. It's very summer vibes. I may have said earlier that those earrings were the first ones I made, but that was a lie. This was the first thing I made, and it is a pretty bracelet. Creating the chain just from wire is challenging and as you can see there's pearls wait where's the pearls there's pearls on it these are Swarovski crystal beads these are the semi precious stones so it's got everything you need on it yeah so thank you so much for watching this I hope that you liked the jewelry I made and if you have a favorite piece please comment down below because I would actually be very interested in hearing which one was your favorite I know they're a lot they're very different um, so that's just something that would be interesting for me to hear we've got all the vibes going on so if you can just let me know which one you like the best it's for market research now I'm gonna clean my living room, and later I'm gonna film the outro. Maybe this is good enough for an outro, but maybe there are some things that I missed that I want to talk about, and I feel like there are some of those things that I still wanna talk about, but if this is the end, and indeed I don't need to film an outro, then I hope that you enjoyed this video. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a different one, me experimenting and 
not painting, but I really had a lot of fun with this project. I am happy that I found a new hobby, and this is something that I think I'm going to enjoy for a very long time. And I really hope that I enjoy it for a long time because I bought so many beads. <laughs> like, way too many beads, so... Yeah, and I guess I'm gonna put all of these pieces on my website for sale. I don't know when that's gonna happen. I'm actually going on a, on a little vacation to visit my parents in Florida. I leave in a couple of days, so I'm certainly not gonna have enough time to edit this video in time, but I guess you're just gonna have to wait. Lucky for you, though, you didn't even know you had to wait until I just told you, so. If you're interested, I think maybe I'll keep doing this just as like a side hustle, like as a hobby because I really did enjoy it. And then maybe just include some jewelry pieces in a shop update every once in a while. So you can um, check that out at brookcormier.com. <laughs> Shameless plug. And they should be up for sale there by now. Okay, if this actually is gonna be my outro, then I should probably do the finger guns because how can I not end a video like that? I'm Brooke Cormier and I'll see you next time.